And when, when we started doing this, well, I'm Devin, in case you didn't hear. Um, uh, when we started doing this project, I wasn't exactly sure what I wanted to do because uh, I don't get that excited that easily. And, and, and when Amelia asked, give me an example, when Amelia asked us to draw something we're passionate about, I drew a bear playing a guitar. And, um, and um, but eventually I realized that I really like creative things, I guess. And, um, <laughs> And so, I, and I, I've been realizing, not, not here, but like other places uh, with normal people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they, they like just sit on their phones or their computers all the time and it's obnoxious and they don't do anything creative. So I was saying maybe I could do something to inspire people to be a little more creative. And so I decided uh, to do what I called at the time uh, a craft fair at my town, um, which is where I originally wanted to do it. I'm actually doing it at my church now. And I was gonna. I wanted um, local artisans to come and show off some of the stuff they've made. They don't have to sell it necessarily, but just to kind of like show uh, what they're doing. And um, some of the steps I took is I sent I sent out some emails um, to people in my town. I went to the Lions Club website and they didn't even have any contact information. And uh, the person I emailed never responded. And that was how I decided to do it with my church instead of my town. And. Um, <laughs> And um, over Thanksgiving break, I went to talk to the reverends of my church, and um, they were really supportive, and they gave me a bunch of ideas and all these like paperwork to fill out and all these this stuff to do that would be cool to make it happen. And um, um, we we talked a lot about like logistics and um, if I could do it like kind of with another event, so it wouldn't be as complicated for me. And um, <clears throat> and. Um, uh, so we're, I'm going to be doing it like in conjunction with a Martin Luther King Day event kind of thing. It's coming around um, soon, and um, it'll either be I haven't figured it out completely, but it'll be before or after the Martin Luther King Day event as kind of like an additional thing to it. And um, if I do it with that, it makes it easier because I get like my own little space on the flyer for the Martin Luther King Day thing, and uh, it'd be pretty cool. And but yeah, and I ended up calling it. I ended up calling it an artisan showcase because uh, I think it's more along what I wanted to do instead of like a craft fair, which is like selling doilies and boring things. <laughs> and I wanted it to be more like really creative, and, like, paintings and sculptures and instruments and like live music probably, and um, I don't know maybe uh, uh, people who do like hip hop or like poetry or something to come and read. Um, a little more freeform than just people standing at their booths, and uh, you don't have to sell your stuff. And um, but the idea I had is like to help pay for the event, raise money for the church, and kind of give back to the community. Is to have um, have like all the artisans contribute one of their things uh, to be auctioned off, and just auction off all that all that stuff. And um, that's where I'm at now. I just need to go home and um, talk to the reverends again, get rid of everything finalized, and all the paperwork. Yeah. <laughs>